They are, it looks like they're attempting to move the autonomous ROV. They're just above it right now. Looks like they're, again, they might just be searching, trying to identify the different objects right now. Um, as they're moving around the different areas of the, the pool there. Again, they're back down at the bottom. There's a good shot of them. Again, they're trying, it looks like they're trying to get down and, and move that forward. It's a great shot of the students there trying to pilot their craft. I think they're still having power issues, and that looks like they're trying to. I know they talked I think about they're trying to go up. Yeah, I know. I know they were talking about having someone that had to watch and modulate the the power they were feeding down the line, so it didn't create too big of a draw because it was would cause the components in the ROV itself to burn out and that there was a, a high resistance in that cable. So they had to be very careful of the, the voltage that was going down there so that when they backed off power, there they get a good shot there. That is the, uh, the data logger um, that when they're running full power, they need to send a little more voltage down the line, but then if they back off the motors too fast, the voltage going down the line is too high for the processor, and this person is, is watching a meter and trying to keep the voltage within a certain level. And uh, if they're on and off and on and off and on and off any of the motors, it makes it that much more difficult to keep the voltage within that uh, that range without smoking some of the components in their ROV. Again, another shot from their ROV. Again, this is what the driver is seeing, all they're seeing. And again, they're having a little bit of problems with their power feed, or their video feed, I should say. So they've got some interference there.
So it looks like the ROV is sitting on the bottom and not getting a lot of power, and uh, looks like they're trying to maneuver and move around. But again, we may have to pull it up. <laughs> very possibly, very possibly. <laughs> looks like they're over by the uh, laser array. Um, and they're trying to ad possibly adjust that. That is, is at the bottom of the pool, so they're strategically located to possibly uh, get that set off. And again, I'm not sure that anybody has done that. At least I haven't seen a view from the Carl Hayden robot. And like I said, you it's supposed to be fairly spectacular when the, the laser hits all the mirrors. So. Maybe at the end we can have one of the divers set it off. Yeah, just don't be looking into the Don't look at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They, they heard we wanted to see this, so they're over there <laughs> working on that. Again, they're trying to realign the, uh, the laser beams. This is the laser array that warns them when the uh, extraterrestrials are getting close to the uh, Darwin Space Station. And uh, the aliens have uh, been able to disable that. And so they're trying to reestablish that uh, laser array, that warning system that they have. Looks like there's a great shot of the team. Operating uh, their ROV. Yeah. 